Hi, it's Tina from Artsy Smartsy. Today we're doing a project I like to call All Cracked Up. It's a stenciling lesson with acrylic paint on canvas. Stay tuned for more and I'll teach you all the secret tricks. Welcome back everybody. First thing we're gonna do is our material check. Everybody should have an eight by 10 stretched canvas. You should have a large rectangle, a small rectangle. You should have a little jar of Mod Podge, a brush, and a little cup. You're gonna share these between two people. Be nice, no fighting. You're also going to have a white acrylic paint, a black acrylic paint, and also a little stencil. Yours is gonna have two little pieces in there. You're gonna have to remove this really carefully. Take extra time to do this, folks. If it's messed up, it's gonna be horrible. Stay tuned for the next step. Okay, everybody, we're gonna start with this Mod Podge and our foam brush. I put mine in this little container just for ease of use. You're gonna have yours in these little cups here. We wanna do this really quickly. In Arizona, things dry really, really, really fast. A lot of the times that's good, but for this, it is not good. You wanna get glue on the top two thirds of that canvas as fast as you can. You still want it thick enough so it's gonna hold on to that paper. So as you can see, I'm going all the way up to the edges. I'm making it nice and thick, but still nice and smooth. You're gonna take your larger piece of paper. You're gonna bring it down just a little bit. See that little white line all the way around the edge? You want a little frame. You wanna press it down. See how it's not sticking right there? That's totally normal. Just put glue on the top. You know how I always say in class, glue, paper, glue. Glue, paper, glue. Put the glue down, put the paper down, and put more glue over the top. You're gonna get lots of bubbles and that's okay, you're doing it right. See how fast I'm doing this? you take too long, you're gonna be here all week, folks. I'm only gonna be here for like 20 minutes, so you wanna really hurry it up. See that, nice and flat? Looks good, couple bubbles, that's normal. Don't freak out on me, everybody, it's normal. I'm an artist, I like to get nice and dirty. It's okay if you put your finger in the glue and then rub the edges. Do, 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 do. You know how I like to make sounds while we do art. That's what makes it work. I'm not gonna worry if it's not perfect. It's okay. Now you're gonna do the bottom half. Really nice and fast again. Look at the mess I'm making. Glue everywhere. You know how I always say, never trust a skinny chef or a clean artist. It's okay if you're making a mess, that means you're doing it right. Smooth, smooth, smooth. See that? Look at that, what a mess. Glue, paper, glue. Don't forget to put glue over the top. I'm serious, don't skip that step or you're gonna mess it all up. Look at all those bubbles, yes means you're doing it right if you're getting bubbles. Don't freak out, it's gonna be fine. There you go. All right, everybody, you should have washed out your foam brush by now and thoroughly dried your piece. Make sure you dry it. Going to use your black paint right here. I've already pre-put mine in a little palette here. You probably have a paper plate or something else you're using. This is really, really easy. Look at how flat everything got. Now that it's nice and dry, you don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna go ahead and take your black paint and you're gonna hold your canvas. I actually cheat and go like this. I hold it with my fingers underneath there. That's a secret trick. 
and you are just going to paint all four edges of this canvas really, really good. Make sure you don't miss the corners. See, I'm not there to inspect your corners. Gosh, I was, wish I was there. You know how I'm always inspecting for quality control, you big cheaters. Okay, so you got the edges, fantastical. Now you're gonna go on the top. This is gonna be weird and strange. Doesn't have to be straight. See, I'm just taking a little bit of the brush and I'm gonna do all four edges here. If it's hard for you to hold in your hand, you can go ahead and leave that on the surface. And get it all the way around. See, it doesn't have to be straight, it's A-OK. -okay. Now the hard part. You're gonna take that brush and you're gonna look at the horizon line the line between this piece and this piece. You're gonna take your brush on its edge and you're gonna go doot, 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 doot. Make sure you do the dooting sound. That's how you do it right. Don't forget that part. Just cause I'm not there doesn't mean you forget that part. Okay? All right, that's it. That's all you need. All four edges, doot, 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 doot. Little horizon line, boop, 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 boop. Now, you cannot do a thing until you dry this. Make sure it's dried thoroughly, otherwise this black paint's gonna get all over everything. So, go ahead and take time to do that, dry it, and we'll get to painting the eggs next. Okay, everybody, you should all have a stencil in your kit. I put a surface down and I used a, sort of an X-Acto knife to cut my two stencils out. You really want to make sure when you do that that these are really nice and smooth, okay? Because every single um, mark on there is going to show on your painting. So cut those out really, really good. You want to make sure that your canvas is nice and dry. And you want to choose, is your egg going to be on this side of the canvas? We're going to do the large egg first. Or is it going to be on this side of the canvas? You get to decide based on what you have going on there. I think I want mine on this side of the canvas. When you lay that large egg down, make sure it goes over the horizon line. And make sure it's not too close to the edge either. So you want it kind of right in here, right about there. I'm gonna line it up with the edge of my canvas, just like that. I have my paint all, all ready here to go. I probably put way too much on there. You don't need that much. You can share with your neighbor if you poured too much. You want a fresh brush, totally cleaned, washed out brush. You don't want it to be wet. Make sure it's dry. You want to put white on your stencil and you want to start in the middle. I'm always telling you guys there's two ways to mess up a stencil. One is if you accidentally move the stencil. So all of you folks out there that are holding the stencil for Nancy or Amy or Becky that are helping you do this stenciling, make sure you don't move the stencil no matter what happens. Then when you add paint, make sure you don't add too much. Always do the egg in the center of the egg first. That's where going to be where the thickest paint is. As your paint starts running out of your brush, don't dunk in for more paint. Take your finger like this and go around the edges. There's going to be barely any paint on your brush at that point and you don't want that paint sneaking underneath that stencil. Look at that, fantastical. You're gonna see a little bit of design in there, that's okay. Blow on it. There, add a little teeny bit more. See how I'm holding my finger on my brush like that? It's solidifying my brush so my brush doesn't move so much. Start in the middle again, add a second layer of white. We really want our eggs nice and bright. And then work your way to the edge. And look at that. It's much brighter. You're still going to be able to see through it a little. That's okay. There you go. And lift your stencil. Look at that. It's perfect. All right. Let that dry and you're going to do the little egg next. 
I'm not sure if you guys have these heat guns yet. I've been telling you about them for years. These are a 350 degree oven in a gun. Way better than hair dryer, but don't, don't use it on your hair. Okay? Don't do that. No, 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 no. All right. You can use a hair dryer. You can use a heat gun. Whatever you want to do, just make sure that that egg is really, really dry, folks. If it's not, you're going to mess it up. All right. All right. You're going to go to your little egg. This egg is going to lay on its side. You want to make sure it goes over the line and over the big egg. Don't forget that. Over the line and over the big egg. I like it to be at a little tilt, just like that. Going to do the same thing. Not too much paint. Start in the middle. This egg is littler. So you want to use less paint. Start in the center. Put your finger behind your brush and do the edges. Ooh, I put too much on there. We'll see. Do those edges really good. Make sure you don't see the line of the brush. You want it to look soft and cloudy. You don't want to see the brush marks. Do another little dunk. I barely have any. It looks like I have a ton, but I'm, it, it's just an illusion. Start in the middle. Get most of the paint out. Move your way to the edge. Doot, 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 doot. Make sure you doot. That's how you do it right. Doot it, you know. Doot, 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 doot. And I don't know. It's still not light enough for me. I'm doing it again. All right. That's good enough. And there it is. All right. You're done with step 365. All right. Get that hair dryer out again. Dry that little baby egg. Now look at it. It's not as light as that one, but it's okay, people. This is homemade art. Doesn't have to be perfect. Do, 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 do. Make sure it's really dry. Make sure there's no shine on there. Touch it a little. Fantastic. It's done. All right. Now, you want to have just a little bit of black paint now. And you want to just use your big brush just real quickly. And you want to line it up. We're going to do the crack. You want to line it up on the edge of that canvas. See that right there, the edge? I'm going to show you really good. See that? You want to line it up right there and go boop, boop. Again, booping. Take a little brush. You all have little brushes in the, in the studio at your house somewhere. You don't even have to use a brush. You can use whatever you want. But uh, first we're going to make some speckles and we're going to use the dumb end of the brush. You don't need very much paint. Doot, 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 doot. Random. There's no wrong way to do this. Just don't do too many. And don't do them in a line. You want them to be random. There. Doot, doot, Oh, my puppy just came to visit. Hi, Peter. Oh, I bet you guys want to see Peter. Too bad we're working. All right. So now we got our little speckles on our eggs. That's good enough. I don't want to do too many. Otherwise, it's not going to look right. Okay, just like that. All right, now... You want to take that brush and we're going to add the shadow onto this egg. First we need to find that little baby egg. So we're going to go around. I don't know if my head's in the way here or not. And I go around. See now you can see the edge of that small egg there. Just want to make a line. 
All righty, we got that first little line there. We're gonna kind of thicken up that shadow at the base. See right down in here. Thicken it up. That's the shadow that egg is casting on the big egg. Then you wanna put a little shadow kind of making the ground plane here underneath these two eggs. Don't go on to the white anywhere else. Doesn't have to be straight. Make it kind of a little natural. Then you don't have to get stressed about it. It's supposed to be fun, not stressful. See that? I'm telling you, they should all be whistling over there. There we go. Don't want that line to be straight. It's too boring when it's straight. Do, 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 do. All right, how's that look? I don't want it to be straight over here either. There you go, folks. There is our egg. I think that looks pretty dang good. I am happy to say we are now done with our egg painting. And you should feel all cracked up. Nice job, everybody. Thank you all for joining me today. I can't wait to see all of your masterpieces posted on our Facebook page. It's time to clean up now. So you are free to go cause trouble somewhere else.